Hey everybody, this is your pal, Callier, with the Picking a Daisy show. Every once in a while, I'm gonna pull out the white flag and blow my trumpet. There we go. Um, what's going on here? We have nothing on is the Daisy Buck. You know this. Well, if you've watched this show, you know this. It's my favorite. It's not like the first one I bought. The first one I bought was a, one of those Chinese Daisy 25s, right? Model 25, the pump action. Love that one. But then, that's where the obsession began. I bought this for my kid, and oh, man. I even have a number 10, which is actually, you know, as nice, maybe cosmetically nicer than this. But I just love the bare bones um, aspect of this gun it, it just reminds me of something uh well it <laughs> let me rewind there um let me explain i have here what's called let me get this out of the way here this is the daisy number 11 model 29 so as we know the model sometimes refers to the year which is in this case 1929 now if you're looking at this and you know daisies and you're saying what and not a, a, a number 11 are you sure we're back we got cut off there yes this is a number 11 but it's painted black it the, these only came in nickel plating right so, um, yeah, someone definitely restored this. They actually, I think, lacquered. I believe they repaired the crack here, and they lacquered the stock. They painted the barrel. But, boy, is this a neat gun. This is really neat. Look. Same size as the 105B, which I really... I don't know why they called it a 105. This is pretty much a 102 Cub now, isn't it? But I'm starting to see a pattern here. Now this gun, this 1929, there we go, um, resembles a little something, doesn't it? If you're, if you're familiar with the daisies, this is a little different. What this is very reminiscent of, oh, by the way, part of the uh, lever catch has broken off here as well. Other side's fine. And it, it stays in place for the most part, unless you shake it. <laughs> but I didn't know I wanted or needed one of these until I got one, and now, of course, Pardon me there. Yeah. Number 11. 1929 to 1932. Uh, the, they also made a number 11 that came out earlier, I believe, as well. But let me uh, stay on track here. This looks a lot like the Model H, right? One of the first uh, lever actions that Daisy put out. Uh, in, what, 1910 or something around there, the early 1900s. And um, it wasn't the first, but it was probably um, the one that that really was advertised and, and sold a lot of, the Model H. Um, of course, you have the Model B and uh, Model 3, or the, or the number 3, right? Something like that. This is very similar, except not as much of a deep cut here, as the number 11. This is the number 27, the model 27, so 1927 this is put out. And this model 27 was put out between 1927 and 19... 
and, and slightly larger lead BBs. So these guns, as fun as they are, um, aren't exactly the best shooters. Um, I'm gonna, if my connection will last long enough, I'm gonna go ahead and load and show you what I mean by it. They shoot well enough with some lead ammo. I'll probably go out and get some modern lead ammo as well so I, so I can actually shoot these a little more because I, like, I don't like them sitting around. But this 1927, uh, this Model 27, um, it's a 500 shot. And uh, it's very interesting because, watch this, from a shouldered position, watch this. Here, I'll even put this in here. Look at that. That's what you can do with these. Now, those of you that are familiar with the 103, is it the 103 or the 130? Anyway, the Buzz Barton, the early Buzz Barton special. Yeah, that's right. The, they actually cock on the way out, not the way in. Or, or let's see if I can say that again. Yeah, see? It, it, it's not cocking on the way out, only on the way in. See? Whereas these cock as you're pulling out. So you have to leverage the gun first. You have to unshoulder it in order to get a shot. To, um, yeah, to, to cock it. So same thing here. You have to kind of unshoulder it in order to cock it. Now, the I think this 105B also known as the 102 Cub, if you have the earlier one. Really, this and the 155, or the 102 and the 102 Cub, you know, they were kind of um, related, right? They're almost the same gun, but just smaller. And, well, I can't really say that this is the same gun, but smaller. I, I can't say that. But they sure do are reminiscent. This is 1927, this is 1929. This has that reverse cocking lever, and this has the standard cocking lever. Uh, what else can I tell you about this other than their kind of association, um, just as far as the lineage goes, the uh, Model H came before these, and then these came out. Um, let's get to shooting while we still have film in the camera, right? Oh, boy, oh, boy. Hope you guys don't have the cold. Let's see. Can I get the target in? <laughs> I, th I think the target's in range, in view. There we go. Let's take you over here a little bit. All right, this is the, that's the brand new Daisy Cub. Well, it might be a year old by now, but that's the new Daisy Buck. I keep calling it the 102 Cub because it's, it's, it's almost like that. Now these older guns, anything prior to, I don't know, 32, 1934, uh, supposedly, prefers the lead shot, the old air lead shot. And um, it's, it's not a matter of preference so much as it is mechanics. The, uh, uh, perhaps the deal is the steel isn't hard enough to, um, to withstand shooting the metal BBs. That's my only understanding on this. I am only going to shoot a few. One, two, three. Okay, you, you, you conned me into it. One more. That's four. And there is no retainer. This is pre-retainer. If you understand how the shot tube works and there's a little retainer 
uh, spring. It's not actually a wound spring, but a straight uh, spring. There is none of that in here. So that means that when, uh, the BB doesn't, um, uh, doesn't stay in there um, or isn't held in there uh, by the so-called spring. I want to call it a clip. <laughs> so when you cock these, you want to keep them upright. And then you don't want to be shit here. Let's just go ahead and, and test this. You want to turn the barrel like that because it will just come right out. Now, no kidding. I just heard from an online <laughs> I believe his name was, was Tom. I think he, he also goes by BB, but that kids used to put these things in their mouth and then spit them into, now this is a 500 shot. So I'm not quite sure how they would keep the BBs in the barrel when they, if maybe they always had to shoot parallel or, or at a slight upward angle. I don't know. Um, if you know, let me know because that's awfully peculiar. Okay, here we go. Let's shoot it. Let's see if we can hit. Wow. That shoot, that hit with full power. I would not have any hesitation of trying to shoot this out at 50. For the exception of, I would definitely have to put the barrel down and uh, the BB would fall out. So <laughs> I would have to maybe get down at a lower elevation to try to hit out at that far, but not bad. And this is with the smaller uh, BBs, not the 180, 0.180, which is what this is supposed to take. Wow, okay, well, let's do some more shooting with this because that's pretty exciting. You can see what I'm shooting out at there. Oh, that's another thing. If it's not seated, as long as they're seated and you had a barrel up, it works fine. Now, maybe if there was oil or something in there, well oiled, because I did take, when I took the shot tube out, uh, it did have a little black gunk on it. And uh, I cleaned it off, but that very well may be the thing that holds that bit of uh, gunk may be the thing that held the BB in place while you shot up or down. All right, let's get to the number 27. That was a very, I tell you, I, I would like to get my hands on more of these. Very interesting. Uh, this one, of course, somebody painted black. So, uh, yeah, maybe it was in really bad shape. I don't know. But here's the 27. Let's, uh, let's load her up. Now, the same thing with the 27. I'll do four shots. Same thing with the 27. They, uh, you want to use the lead BBs if you can get them, the 180 BBs. This does not have the clip or spring on the shot tube holding the shot in place when you cock it. Those of you that are familiar with how BB guns work know what I mean. Now again, now this is the cool thing about this. Look, I can just do that right there. That's so cool. Except, I gotta tilt the barrel up. Now this is not shooting with as much power. You know, I can, I can just tell. Even with the barrel tilted up, I'm pr uh, this just isn't shooting as powerfully. Well, maybe not. It could be that this is more quiet because that's hitting with a, a decent amount of authority. Man, I can't get used to this, but it's so cool. Look at that. You can't do that with a daisy. Well, the early ones you could. Very cool. Yeah, if you 
tilt the if you tilt the barrel up, you can. Uh, It'll, it'll probably stay in there okay. Yeah. Well, it's shooting pretty well. I'm really impressed with both of these. This 27 and this uh, number 11, model 29. Really neat. Kind of reminds me of the, of the new Cubs. Of course, there's a uh, little little bit difference in the butt right a little cut out there a little difference in the handle this is cast iron this is some polymer a plastic polymer of some sort all right there's an aluminum trigger or maybe cast iron uh, i have to put some uh I, I i my guess is this is an aluminum trigger this is a plastic trigger so yeah there's some definite differences uh is this a 650 shot or a 350? I don't know. It's hard to re uh, remember how many these hold. But the smaller ones, of course, usually hold less. That's a good rule of thumb. Um, does it say on here? This is really hard to read because. So, yeah, there it is 350 shot. It says 350 shot on there. Says uh, Daisy, uh, as Daisy number eleven, you can barely read number. It to me it looked like a number twenty five, but we know it's not a number twenty five, so it had to be a number twenty nine. We knew it wasn't a twenty four because they, that would be straight lines, and what I'm, the what I can see of that number, it's curved, so we know that it's a twenty nine, number eleven, or twenty nine. Some cool things about this 27 has that under barrel band, right? A lot of the old, uh, many of the older uh, guns, both the pump action and the uh, lever action. Let's see, you can read this pretty well. I don't know if we can pick it up on camera well enough, but. I apologize, the, uh, our connection keeps coming and going. So, uh, but I stop talking every time I notice that the connection is, is stopped. So you're not missing anything. I'm waiting for you here. This is the Picking a Daisy Stand and Deliver sticker. You can get yours. Just go on over to pickingdaisy.com and uh, all kind of, you can order by uh, mail, you can order by email. Uh, with PayPal, so um, they're only four bucks postpaid. Get them while they last. So that's it. I, I'm going to cut this short because, like I said, we keep getting disconnected here. Um, I'm going to return to these because, well, I, I'd like to get more. I, I want to get more of these 27s. I want to get more of this number 11. The, these are sort of guns that I just picked up on a whim because they were available. And boy, am I impressed with them. Um, I have a Model 101 and a 102 from 1933 coming in. So um, that's coming up. And of course, we'll definitely be comparing that with its cousin, the 105B. Uh, and what else? I think that's it, guys. So if you have any questions, any comments, uh, definitely don't be shy. Remember to visit us on pickingadaisy.com. We're also on um, Facebook. Picking a Daisy is on Facebook. And we're also on Instagram. So go on over there and do what you do. Uh, find social medias. Okay, until next time.